Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, a new, more personalized SST is in the works. The FAA Aerospace Forecast is released. Rolls-Royce celebrates a perfect 10 first flight. I'm Brie Cross, it's March 28, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. A new SST is under development in Colorado that Boom Aerospace says would carry 40 passengers at speeds of 1,260 knots, and yes, that's faster than the Concorde. Sir Richard Branson has already signed on for 10 options for the airplanes. A report on GeekWire says that the team behind the Boom includes former Amazon manager Blake Scholl and Michael Reed, who previously worked on the Dreamliner with Boeing. The spaceship company is also involved. It's reported that a round trip between New York and London would take about three and a half hours and cost about $5,000. The company says in simulations the airplane is quieter and 30% more efficient than the Concorde. It would cruise at 60,000 feet with two rows of standard first-class single seats. Boom hopes to have the prototype flying late next year. If all goes according to plan, initial flight tests would be conducted at Centennial Airport in Denver with supersonic flight testing occurring near Edwards Air Force Base. The FAA has released its annual aerospace forecast report fiscal years 2016 to 2036 that projects a sustained increase in overall air travel and the use of unmanned aircraft systems, but general aviation is lagging. A key portion of the forecast focuses on the projections for the growth in the use of unmanned aircraft, also known as drones. The FAA estimates that the combined total hobbyist and commercial UAS sales are expected to rise from 2.5 million in 2016 to 7 million in 2020. On the airline front, the FAA forecast calls for system revenue passenger miles by mainline and regional air carriers to grow at an average rate of 2.6% a year for the report period, with international operations projected to increase 3.5% a year. Domestic operations are forecast to increase by more than 50% over the same time. General aviation, however, has shown a recent decline and during the forecast time period will only show a weak fleet growth of 0.2% per year. Fixed wing turbine aircraft growth will increase 2% per year, but fixed wing piston aircraft will decline at a rate of 7% per year. Okay, that's depressing. The big question is, what will the GA industry do to fix this? After the break, Rolls-Royce 10 engine is in flight testing. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The Rolls-Royce Trent 1010 engine has taken to the skies for the first time, starting a series of test flights. The engine sporting its Perfect 10 bowling graphic on the nacelle flew on the Rolls-Royce flying testbed aircraft of Boeing 747 at Tucson, Arizona. The Trent 1010, which stands for Thrust Efficiency and New Technology, will power all variants of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner family. The engine draws on technologies from the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine and Advanced Engine Program. Test engines are installed on the inboard pylon of the aircraft 747 test aircraft, which is equipped with extensive instrumentation to allow sophisticated measurements to be taken of engine performance in flight. The Trent 1000 powered the first 787-8 entry into service in 2011 and the first 787-9 into service in 2014. Each week, we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off of the great classic Great Lakes biplane has been revived by the Waco Aircraft Company, and this time lapse video shows you the final assembly process of this old classic in modern times. Search 1209 GL on YouTube. After these messages, light GA planes now get data services.
Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The general aviation market can now access affordable in-flight voice and data services for recreational and business communications. The FAA has issued an STC to Global Star for its Part 23 light aviation aircraft antenna. The STC will apply to hundreds of aircraft models. The pilot of the Fly Dubai airliner that went down in Russia with the loss of all on board was flying one of his final flights according to a Russian media outlet. It's reported he tendered his resignation to fly Dubai, citing an unbearable schedule. The chief of the F-35 program detailed the good, the bad, and the ugly aspects of the aircraft during testimony before the House Armed Services Subcommittee on Tactical Air and Land Forces. Overall, he says it is executing fairly well across the entire spectrum. Ninety female missileers made Air Force history March 22nd as the first all-female missile alert crews to serve on alert at three intercontinental ballistic missile wings simultaneously. They completed a 24-hour alert shift to sustain an active alert status of the nation's ICBM force. A pilot for United Airlines has been arrested and charged with running an illegal prostitution operation that included several apartments with six to ten women in each, according to court documents. He has been grounded by United and is facing criminal charges. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. A female combat pilot fighting for the Ukraine against pro-Russian separatists has been convicted of murder in Russia in connection with the deaths of two Russian journalists in July 2014. NPR reports that Nazeta Sevchenko was accused of directing the artillery fire that killed two journalists covering the conflict there. The conviction comes despite assertions by Sevchenko's defense attorneys, who say cell phone records prove she was captured by separatist militia fighters at least an hour before these journalists were killed. Savchenko said that the trial was being used as propaganda by the Russians. She had been well known in the Ukraine as one of the country's first female combat pilots and had been fighting as a volunteer against the Russian-backed separatists. The U.S. State Department said through a spokesperson that the conviction shows Russia's blatant disregard for the principles of justice. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.